Hello, um, welcome to Scan is Here to Help podcast. And uh, we're here to talk about a new program that Scan, Scan just recently implemented. Is the uh, Drop-In Center program. And here with me is Keilani Castro. And uh, she's going to talk about, uh, she works in this program and she's going to talk about it and describe it for you. We also, one of the wonderful things about our program is we're going to be running on a schedule from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. Oh, really? Wow. So I find that to be actually quite amazing because, you know, we go beyond those typical office hours. Yeah. So of yeah. us, you know, just being open, let's say like at 10 o'clock at night, right? Yeah. I consider, I always say that we're like a little beacon of light in the community, right? For yes. anybody who is encountering any type of trigger or yes. cravings to use, or they encounter a stressful situation that may actually like affect their recovery. Uh -huh. So they're going to have more than plenty of people to speak to, to just help them, you know, work out their emotions and stuff like that. Also, yes. we provide our clients um, a service plan, which is, you know, it, provides us the ability to help them reach their goals, whether mm -hmm. that can be, you know, obviously with recovery sure. or, you know, getting a job or receiving any type of medical treatment. So, yeah, so like you provide a lot of support, a lot of different types of support. Yeah. So it's amazing that you can be open uh, those many hours. Yeah, actually, I'm actually really proud of that. It makes me really happy yeah. <laughs> that, you know, we're going to be open up to so late because, you know, it's, well, yeah. it's really helpful because we practically we really don't know when a problem is going to arise. So, yeah. And for those of you who are uh, watching this, um, people that are in recovery, it's a day by day effort. So sometimes when difficult uh, things arise, uh, level of stress increases. Sometimes it is really important to have somebody available right away, having a place to go. So that's amazing that you have those those hours. So you were saying that it's open to all substances, not only yes. opiates, not yeah, only not heroin. Only. And, you know. mm -mm. It could be any type of, you know, any type of substance. And also we provide to not only our participants, um, but to the community in general, um, Narcan training. Okay. And we provide them with the Narcan. And for those who don't know, Narcan is a medication that um, reverses the which effects. Right yes, <laughs> which I have right here is this little magical box right here. Yes. Um, <laughs> Narcan is, um, as I said, is a medication that completely reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. Okay. So we really are trying to get that out in the community as much as we can. Because unfortunately, um, I don't know if you guys you know, heard of what fentanyl is. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that's 50 times stronger than heroin yes. and 100 times stronger than morphine. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, you know, it's trickling around the community as much as we would like, right? And it's um, a huge contributor to fatal and non-fatal overdoses. So we really wanna get that information out there and provide them with this medication that, you know, nobody has to pass away, right? Because mm -hmm. we have this little lifesaver here. Exactly. And it's completely free in our program. And not, like I said, you don't necessarily have to be a participant in the program. You can just be somebody who's you know, curious about Narcan and just want to have it. And mm -hmm. also we are reaching out to schools and to other agencies and stuff to provide this training and to staff members as well. So so the training will be about overdose prevention. Yes. Like preventing people from dying of yes. an overdose through the use of Narcan. Yes. So you will tell them, explain how to how to use it. Yes. It's like an inhalant, right? Yes, right. it's um, it's a, it's a nasal spray. It's, it's a, a two-step nasal, nasal spray. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a two-step nasal spray. And in, the, in our presentations, we practically only touch bases on okay. what is an opioid, um, the signs of an overdose, and, you know, well, how to use how to use Narcan. And also, we're really, you know, headstrong on trying to eliminate the stigma around having Narcan. Because unfortunately, you know, in the community, it, it tends to have like a little dark cloud of around course. the use of Narcan. Yeah. And that's something that we completely want to eliminate because if us, if we as a society have mm -hmm. reached to eliminate certain type of stigmas around certain medical conditions, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we are actually able to yeah. get there when we speak about somebody who's battling with a substance abuse disorder. Yeah. And then just for those of you that are seeing this, uh, stigma is, is still a big problem, even though there have been major advances in understanding addiction and seeing it as a uh, brain disorder. We still have trouble, you know, we still see people that are struggling with substances and alcohol as bad or as deficient in their character. But a lot of different um, bad things that people do who don't, don't understand addiction, they think it's so easy to stop. So, so I'm, I'm so happy that, uh, that you have this. And 
for those of you, especially who have a relative who has an opioid disorder um, that has not in recovery yet, but you know, we want to make sure that we prevent deaths through overdose. So please come and get uh, your Narcan, have it available, or if you, for some reason, think that they may be helpful for yourself or a, a friend or somebody, uh, then please come and get it. I think it will be really important in saving lives. Yeah. So I'm amazed that uh, the, we're providing this yeah, service. It's, yeah, it's, it makes me really happy. And I want to input a little st positive story I have. Yeah. Um, I it's actually, it's, yeah, it, it's not mine. It's um from our recovery coach, Anastasia. You know, as we said, you know, we do a lot of outreach in the community. You're really proud of Anastasia. <laughs> and she's amazing, that yeah. girl. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she does, well, we all do. We do a lot of outreach in the community, right, in, in regards to, you know, providing Narcan. And she actually has a, a client who lives in Jarvis Plaza. And, and during one of her outreaches, well, she provided that client the Narcan. And a couple of days went by, and then she went back, you know, to, to do her follow-up and mm -hmm. see how the client is doing. And he was like, oh, guess what? Like, I actually saved somebody's life. I used the Narcan that you gave me. Nice. So it's like not necessarily it was for himself, but he used yeah. it to save somebody else, which is the whole our whole mission, right? Of course. For everybody, you know, just to have an understanding of what it is, to yeah. feel comfortable in carrying it, and not necessarily, you know, saying, oh, well, you know, somebody doesn't have enough faith in me. They're trying to say I'm going to mm -hmm. overdose, right? So it's just, you know, just to have it there, um, it's like a fire extinguisher, right? Um, you never know when you're going to need it, but it's better to have it than, you know. Exactly, exactly. And then friends can help each other. So sometimes, at least when I used to work with people with opioid disorders, that, uh, you know, they develop the strong friendships. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, if they happen to see somebody who's overdosed, so then they can mm -hmm. immediately use mm -hmm. this wonderful medication. So... Um, Anything else you want to let us know about um, about the, this project yeah. that maybe we missed? Um, also, we we have groups. We have group sessions, right, for the participants. So I love groups because that's like a place where, you know, everybody can feel, you know, let their whole mm -hmm. guard on, right? Because as, as I said, you know, we're a harm reduction program, so there's no there's no judgment here, right? Um, whether that, you know, that it's, whether that is like if the participant is actually ready to embark on the recovery journey, or they feel like they're, you know, they're not there yet, right? Yeah. Um, we're here to just, you know, like, be with them and, you know, just go yeah. along with them, you know, step by step on whatever that is maybe. And, you know, we like to promote for those who say that they're not ready to, um, to embark on their recovery journey. You know, we just tell them, you know, to promote, say, for drug use and all that stuff. Sure. Because we really just want to eliminate the negative um, side effects that come with drug use, right? Mm -hmm. So we just want to give them as much, you know tips and stuff, you know, just to help them stay, you know, healthy and, you know, yeah. promote their overall wellness. Well, that's so. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this and you know somebody or you, yourself, uh, you're not ready to quit, uh, it's okay to come by. You're thinking about quitting, it's okay to come by, but you have, but you have not made a decision, it's okay, mm -hmm. okay to come by. You made a decision, come by. You're curious, but have not decided to stop using this, okay, mm -hmm. just come by, get the information. If at least... You can get a uh, hold of the Narcan. I think that will be really important uh, if you stop by, just get information. I think it's wonderful that you just have the doors open to whoever wants to go there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and um, they see they're thinking about help for themselves or for others. For others, yeah. yeah. Any other services that you provide that we didn't talk about? Um, um, oh, I, you, you want to go ahead. So, sorry. I think that, you know, that practically, you know, sums it up. We're just, okay. um, I can say that maybe like our service, our, our services could vary depending on each participant. Right. So, so you individualize. Yeah. We do that, you know, we case manage, um, you know, with each and each and every, you know, patient mm -hmm. they have, you know, we have our little different services and stuff like that. Cause you know, we just adapt and we just go from, you know, every single case. So, okay. So then the staff that work there, are they uh, people in recovery or they? Or some of them are or some of them are not? Yeah, um, our recovery um, coach, Anastasia, she's pretty famous in this Anastasia, video, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Anastasia, <laughs> she's, um, She's um, in long-term recovery. Uh -huh. So um, it, it's kind of wonderful how a lot, a lot of our participants, they, you know, they, they make that click with her, right? Because she yeah. is so understanding and, you know, she knows the whole, the whole situation, right? Um, and we have prevention specialists who help us along with the case management. Um, I have my other colleague um, and I, which were the community health workers. And practically what we do, like our what our, posi our position entails is 
you know, just going out to the community and providing the Narcan and the Narcan okay. training. Um, and, you know, we're, we're all over the place. I mean, <laughs> we went to the constable's office not so long ago, you know, to help the fire department with the whole trainings. And, you know, we've been to public harmony school to provide the parents with the Narcan training as well. So, you know, we're just out there, you know, for anybody who really, really wants to receive this yeah, training. Disseminating the information yeah. in general. Mm -hmm. So that's another aspect of the program, not only mm -hmm. directly with uh, with the people who may need it directly, but also just creating awareness in the community. Yes, so that's a large prevention effort. Yes, because as I said, like we really want to eliminate the stigma surrounding substance abuse disorders. Yeah. So that's why we're just, you know, going everywhere, everywhere, you know, to let them know about the, the Narcan and, mm -hmm. you know, what are opiates and stuff like that. Excellent. I think that we cover pretty much everything. Um, just looking at the questions here that we had, that had done for us. Um, so they're basically the requirements to qualify is anybody who has a substance use disorder. Anybody who feels like they need an extra support, anything. a lending hand. Gotcha. Um, but there's no requirements, <coughs> right, um, to stay within the program. You know, it's completely open where, you know, this, we provide them the services as long as the client wants. There's like no certain time frame, so the person can, you know, either come in and leave whenever they please. Um, we never, you know, try to, you know, force them to do anything that they really are not ready for yet. So there's no requirements to be in our program. Excellent, excellent. So I'm thinking that somebody comes in. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me let me say this first. If I'm if I have a friend, mm -hmm. I don't have a substance use disorder. I mean, I'm pretending that somebody else, right? Yeah. And, and I don't have a substance use disorder, but I do have a friend, then I can stop on. Yes, of course. If I'm a relative, I'm a brother, sister, parent, then I can stop by and ask questions. Yes, um, about we actually, my loved one. Yeah, we actually have um, a lot of those situations where there's somebody else, you know, arriving to our center to receive the information to pass it along. Um, and usually, you know, they'll just, you know, give us like the contact info of the person mm -hmm. and we do our, you know, our, our outreach directly to that person and, you know, try to help them as much as we can. And also, we've actually had um, just um, mothers, like worried mothers that their kids are in school, right? Mm -hmm. So they just drop on a center like, oh, you know, we're kind of scared with this whole fentanyl thing. And, you know, we saw you at the fair and, you know, we just want you to give us like the training about the Narcan. So, you know, the mother comes in with her child mm -hmm. and, you know, we give them like the little training and, you know, that mother feels safe with her Narcan in her purse just in case. So. Yeah. That's wonderful. I mean, the, and we know that nationally, this has been an epidemic uh, of people dying due to the use of op you know op opioid yeah. overdose. And now with the fentanyl crisis, is is getting worse. So then we definitely need to pass the word around and prevent any more deaths, and also to ensure that people that are wanting the help uh, because they're struggling with addiction that they get the help that they need right away. I'm guessing, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that people come here and there are other issues there, mental health, for example, then we can link you to the yes. services that you need within Very SCAN. Nice. We have uh, uh, mental health programs, mental health counseling to provide you. Uh, also, many times, uh, problems with substances have underlying conditions like anxiety, depression, and so forth. So um, it is important that you know that uh, when you come here to our doors, then if there are other needs that we can identify, then we definitely help you to meet those needs. Uh, we have also a program, a medication assisted treatment program uh, that provides a medication uh, as, as a boxing, if I'm correct, mm -hmm. or like that, as a boxing. Yes. And then, uh, so you can get started on that if that's something that you want to do. We can link you to detox if uh, that's something that, um, that is needed. You need treatment, you need substance abuse treatment, you need peer support. Mm -hmm. We don't want to make sure that you have all the resources that you have to, to take care of yourself. So we understand addiction. We, we understand it as a disease of the brain. So there's nothing to be ashamed of and embarrassed about. On the contrary, I think you need a, a, the most compassion uh, that you deserve. Um, and so please come, come to, to this drop-in center. This is a wonderful program. Uh, tell us where it is located. I have it. Oh, we're located on 1303 North Seymour Avenue. Okay. North Seymour yes. Avenue. I always say like a little, what I tell the clients I want to drop by, we're by the Peter Piper on Guadalupe Street. So that's yeah. like a little point of reference, right? <laughs> and I think our wonderful uh, Lisette is going to put the, the address. I guess yeah. when we, when, um, she's wonderful, all of this technical stuff uh, and the phone number. 
So I don't have anything else. Um, Clarita, did I forget anything else? No. no? Did I cover everything? <laughs> yes. Are we doing okay here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Only that we are going to be starting next week. We are going to be open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, including wow. Saturday and Sundays from eight, eight to twelve a.m. to twelve p.m. Okay. And uh, any, like so, sometimes some of the clients on the scan that they are in treatment, they have the need to talk to someone. Well, it'd be hard to repeat all of that because the microphone is not catching. It. <laughs> Let, let's do the best. Yeah. So we have this wonderful the CHAI program director named Clara Vasquez, uh, Clara Guajardo, sorry. Um, that uh, if I can say that, I think that she's she acknowledged it publicly. She has been um, a prominent figure in the, in the recovery field. And uh, uh, not only helping others, but as a licensed clinical dependency counselor. So she's the program director for this project, and uh, she's just a little bit camera shy. <laughs> so she's telling us that uh, we're going to be open seven days a week. Yes. All right? Yes. From and then can you repeat some of the things that she yeah. said? Um, that we're going to be open from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m., so um, from Monday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. But actually, a little fun fact that I forgot to mention. Okay. We are aimed to be open 24-7. Oh, wow. Yes. So that's like in the works coming soon, right? So that's, you know. Well, we know that Friday nights, Saturday nights, it can be the toughest sometimes yes. for people yes. um, to deal with. So it's glad, I'm glad that we have that, that availability. That's wonderful. So I think that's it for me. Any parting words uh, with our viewers? Um, that, yeah, you know, just feel free to, to contact us and, you know, whether that is to receive the Narcan training or just to join the program. Um, just, you know, contact us and let us know. Yes, please do. And it was nice to have you in this podcast and you guys take care. Bye. Bye.